that the, the camera? Coast. That's my Uncle Joe. Oh, yeah. He okay. was lieutenant in the uh, Naval Air Force uh, out of England. And he, he flew 42 missions. Wow. Which made him eligible uh, for discharge. And, uh, and they asked him to, at that point, they were looking for people to volunteer for a um, super dangerous mission. And the mission was, they, it was the first remote, they had invented the first remote controlled aircraft. So it's an aircraft that you could steer remote control. Um, and they were gonna load the plane with bombs and then they were going to have the pilot would take off the plane because they needed it in the air, couldn't take off by remote control. My Uncle Joe was supposed to parachute out just before it, it crossed the English Channel. And when and there was a, a, a tracking plane that would uh, follow it, and it was supposed to fly into the submarine nests in uh, on the coast of the Netherlands. Mm. And it was uh, and it was a fully loaded bomb. And the uh, and the the follow plane turned on the remote control. Um, and the minute they did that, the plane exploded and vaporized. Oh fuck! Uh, my my uh, oh. my uncle's body was never found. Oh. Twenty years later, my grandfather, if you mentioned his name, Joe's name, he was the oldest brother, and he was kind of the golden child. Uh, my grandfather would break into tears, and he never got over it. Mm -hmm. um, and then his eldest daughter died two years later in another air crash. Yeah, I mean, the House of Atreus bad luck that your family has had is just, I mean, astounding. But I, I find it refreshing that you're willing to, like, make a bet that the, very often, like, where people think we are in history is lagging behind where we really are. And then events, like elections or events, and people go, oh, fuck, we didn't think we were that bad, but we elected Trump. We are that bad. You know, or like the OJ trial, when, when we saw that split screen of black people are crazy happy and white people are like, it's their own brother who was killed. It's like, oh wow, we're nowhere still racially, you know, like that kind of stuff. And you're making a bet that we're at a different place now. I can run for president and sit here with this pot smoking atheist on a podcast and we can shoot the shit like real people. Because Trump especially, you gotta give him that, he sort of brought, the, brought it down to the vernacular level in a big way. This guy wasn't afraid to say pussy and motherfucker and shit and shithole. And, and America's like, yeah, we're just, we're just. Hey, thanks for watching the clip. Hit the subscribe button now so you never miss out on our club random content that's posted daily.